uh, B class examples. So I'm going to getting into some B class examples where we do some more and more complex uh, calculations. Okay. Okay, let's move to some B class examples where we'll do some more uh, bigger size ranges. So I'll, I'll get into one example with B class. So my requirement is using any B class address, any B class, because the calculation for any B class remains the same. I need a requirement of 1000 host addresses. So 1000 host addresses. And if you remember by default, A class supports 16 million addresses in one network. B class supports 65,536 addresses in one network. And C class by default supports 256 addresses in one network. So anyway, C class examples we did already. It's the calculation. So now we are going to do our B class examples where we need to divide a default size of 65,536 addresses into small, small networks such that each and every small network should get a requirement of 1000, 1000, 2000, 4000, whatever the size. The calculation process goes the same in all the B classes. The only difference is the range will be varying as per the example. Anyway, in the real networks, probably it's very difficult to find uh, 1000 hosts in one network. So probably, but here we are just getting into some uh, more in depth of calculations. So let us try to how to uh, find the range for bigger numbers. So this is very useful, especially when you are getting into some advanced routing concepts uh, where we get into some summarization, all those things or or even in the certification exams where you may be tested on some some of these calculations. Okay, not exactly a calculation, but you'll be asked some questions, uh, bits, some multiple choice questions where you have some more more complex calculations with a bigger size requirements uh, with A class or B class. So we are going to understand how exactly it goes. The almost 70-80% uh, remains the same except few changes. So the first thing is we need to go with this formula 2 to the power of h minus 2 greater than or equal to requirement. So here the, my requirement is 1000. So as per this 1000 requirement, which value satisfies my condition? So I need to consider 2 power value. So here if I take 2 to the power of 9, 5 12, not going to satisfy my condition because my requirement is 1000. So if I take 2 to the power of 10, I think it's, it's enough. So which means I don't really need uh, Exactly, we cannot divide 1000 addresses, but the possible size is 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024. In the two addresses, we cannot use the first and the last address. So, which means total I can use 1022 or your valid host addresses, which I can assign to any number of devices. So, the first step is finding out how many host bits I require. So, as per this example, how many host bits are required? I require only 10. So this is your required host bits. So which is your 10 value. So now the next thing we need to convert, how many converted bits, or we can say how many bits we need to convert into network. So we are talking about B class. So B class supports two network portions and two host portions. So which means network, network remains the same. Nothing but if I write network portion into binary, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, second portion. And if I write host portion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 host bits and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So which means C class, sorry, B class supports 16 network bits and 16 host bits. So this is the slight difference which we find from B class to C class. In B, in C class, we are taking 24, 8. In our B class, we are going to take 16, 16. So now if I just count out of this 16 host bits, you can see there are 16 host bits. Out of this 16, I don't need exactly 16. I just need only 10. So which means 10 bits as host, that is enough for, uh, for my requirement. So I'm going to leave 10 bits, which means eight bits already here and 10 bits here. So host bits, I require only 10. Remaining six I'm converting, which means one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm converting, or we can do like this, 16 minus 10 is equal to six bits gets converted. So total becomes how many? Total becomes by default there are eight bits, by default there are eight bits, and I'm converting only 16 bits. And in the fourth portion, there is no network bits. So which means we need to write just zero. Zero represents host bits. So there are eight host bits here, two host bits here, total become 10. 
so total becomes by default there are 16 plus 6 extra added so it becomes 22 total bits so the tally of 16 16 changes to 22 network and 10 host bits so this is same as what we did in our previous examples no changes except slight change in your requirement uh, number of host and bits host bits and network bits so in case if you want to find out how many small small networks i get you can simply convert into 2 to the power of n value n is your extra bits the converted bits so i can take 2 to the power of 6 which means i can get 16 sub networks i get exactly 64 sub networks 2 to the power of 6 it becomes 64 subnets now anyway if i divide into p class so i get exactly 64 subnet okay so if you find the subnet mask the subnet mask is the same thing what we wrote here you can see here 8 bits means it's 255 8 bits if you add 255 6 bits if you add it becomes 252 so you can refer this table here the table will give some idea on if you add 6 bits 6 network bits which means 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 anyway if you add it becomes 1252 so no need to add this is the subnet mask what we get after dividing okay so if i want exactly 1024 addresses i have to use this subnet mask so till here the part the calculation is almost the same except a change in the number of network and host bits there's only difference and remaining all is the same like what we did in our previous uh, B C class examples now the last thing is writing the range now when you're writing the range we write always based on 2 to the power of h value in general so 2 to the power of h value is 2 to the power of 10 bits what we got 1024 is the size of a network so which means group of 1024 addresses will be one network so now if i if i try to write the range of any address let's say 17 to 16 i'm going to use any b class example so the first range by default we start from 0, 0.0, .0 and we write 0 0.1 and we write 0 0.2 like that i write up to 0 0.255 that is the maximum number i can write in the fourth portion so 0 0.255 so i'm going to write the complete 0 0.x x represents all the numbers starting from 0 to 255 so i get only 256 addresses i get only 256 addresses but my requirement is even much bigger than 256 addresses so i cannot write 0 0.256 because you know there is no address in ip address with 256 so i cannot write this but the continuation address for this is what is the continuation address 1.0 1.1 1.2 like that i go up to 1.255 so i'm going to write the complete 1.x also which again how many addresses 256 addresses so total becomes how many 256 and 256 so it becomes 512 so again this range is also not enough to meet my requirement so i need 1024 addresses so which means i have to continue so the continuation address i'm writing here just a continuation here so continuation address will be 2.0 2.1 like that i go up to 2.255 so if i write the complete 2.x which means if i write the complete 2.x so i get exactly 256 addresses so total becomes how many 768 because 256 here 256 here 256 here okay so it becomes 256 256 512 512 plus 256 768 addresses which means if i count from 0 0.0 256 256 256 768 addresses still it is not enough to meet my requirement because my requirement is much bigger than 768 addresses so which means the continuation address is 3.0 3.1 till 3.255 so i'm going to write the complete 3.x which is again 256 addresses which means it ends on 1024 because plus 256 becomes 1024 so which means if you want to write exact group of 64 addresses now coming to our range so when i'm writing the range the range always written based on to the power of h value and h value is 1024 which means my range ends on the range starts on 
172.16.0.0 is the first range. So if I take 172.16 network, 172.16 network, and the range starts on 0 0.0 and ends on 3.255. Means if I write any address in between 0 0.0 to 3.255 will be group of 6 1.0.24 addresses. So it exactly 1.0.24 addresses, which means the next range starts on 4.0. The next range starts on. So this is one network. This is one network. So probably here, this is the way we had to write the range. But again, this is the way we calculate in general. In general, if I take, if I consider zero dot all, if I write all zero dot x addresses, I get only two fifty six addresses, which is not required. If I write one dot x also, I get two fifty six. So it becomes two fifty six plus two fifty six five twelve. If I write two dot x also. It becomes 768 addresses. If I write 3 dot x also, I get 1024 addresses. Means in order to have 1024 addresses, I need four blocks. So I can represent this as one block: 0 dot x, 1 dot x, 2 dot x, 3 dot x. Exactly, I need four blocks of addresses. So if I represent each block as a group of, if I just represent each block of addresses as 1024 addresses but again it is a little bit lengthier method of calculation because if you see here this is a little bit lengthier because going like this uh, finding out the range in this method anyway it's a, a very good way to understand but once we understand probably we really don't want to calculate in this format so to do this i give one simple easy shortcut method for writing the range for bigger numbers so whenever you want to write the range for bigger numbers, always use this formula: two to the power of h divided by two fifty six. So what is the two to the power of h value in our requirement? It's one zero two four. So exactly one zero two four addresses. Each block represents two fifty six addresses, which means how many blocks I require in order to support one zero two four addresses. So I get exactly four. You don't really need to use any calculator also for this. You can just make it as a round figure value. If I just make it round figure as 1000, if I make it as a round figure of 250, in 1000 I get four 250s. Similar way, I in 2000 I get eight 250s. In 4000 I get 16 250s. In 8000 I get eight four 32, 32 250s like that. So probably it's an exact a division. You don't get any decimal uh, values like points. Exact four, which means I need four blocks of addresses. How many blocks are required? Four blocks. So I'm going to use zero dot x block, one dot x block, two dot x block, three dot x block. Which means if I start from zero dot x and if I finish on three dot x, I get exactly four uh, blocks. Total becomes one zero two four addresses. So what I can do is I can increment plus four here. Increment plus four in the next portion. Don't increment on the last portion because if you increment here, it is wrong. Because if increment there, it is just adding four addresses. I'm not talking about four addresses. I'm talking about four blocks of addresses where each block represents 256 addresses. So plus four here will simply solve your problem. Plus four, plus four, uh, plus four. Like that, it will go on. No need to write uh, all. I don't really recommend to write the complete range because if you go on write, you get 64 subnets. So Anyway, we know that exactly I get 64 subnets. Probably you just skip, just write down 3 4 ranges. And finally, if you are writing from bottom to top, I suggest you to subtract from 256. If you subtract 4, this is the last range and ends on 255.255. And this ends on 7.255. And this ends on 11.255. And this ends on 15.255. So, like that, this is one network. This is second network, third network, fourth network, fifth, sixth, like that. You get 64 subnets. So in this example, there are two things we learn and two things slightly different when we compare with the previous C class examples. So in this example, you'll get a more better understanding on how to do a B class example. If you are doing any B class example, we have to take 16 network bits, 16 host bits because by default there are 16, 16. And based on that, we have to find out the number of host bits, number of converted bits like that. That's the one thing we need to keep in mind when we are working with B class example and remaining all the steps are same what we did in the previous class. And the next thing is whenever you are writing the range for bigger numbers, anything 
more than 256 256 or more than 256 because if i take a normal uh, 256 size i need only one block which is similar to p class anything greater than or equal to 256 always remember i suggest you to use the formula of 2 to the power of s divided by 256 based on that you can find how many blocks are required based on that we can easily write the range so anything less than 256 is really not required because you know less than 256 means we, it's very simple because it will come in the fourth portion anything less than 256 always we increment on the fourth portion and anything greater than or equal to 256 we increment on the third portion because the size of the network goes beyond 256 so we need to increment on this part okay so this one example will give some more idea on how the b class calculation goes so probably i suggest you to just work on some more b class examples like we can do some exercises on your own you can take any requirement like you can take a requirement of 500 one example and even you can take a requirement of uh, 200 host the next example 200 host and you can take a requirement of uh, let's say 4000 is the requirement so like this you can probably work on some two or three examples to have some more clear understanding on the calculation process as already said the more you work on this type of calculations the more you have a easy and clear understanding on this okay okay so similar way i got one more example in our uh, workbook you can see here requirement of 500 host if you have a requirement of 500 host probably the size of the network will be 512 in the two addresses we cannot use network id broadcast id so which means 510 or valid addresses and whatever the power value we get that is your required host bits and whatever the converted bits you can see here total bits are 16 in b class in that i just need only 9 so 7 gets converted so based on this 7 converted bits i can find how many subnets i get 2 to the power of 7 is 128 subnets i get and valid host addresses is 510 the same thing what we did here already and the subnet mass will be uh, slash 23 which means 8 plus 8 plus uh, 8 plus 8 plus 7 plus 0 so it will be 255 255 255 254 and it will be multiples of 2 because you know the size of the network is 512 so 512 size means i need two blocks so it will plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 here like that you get if you go on right you get exactly 128 subnets so similar way you can try other examples as well like the example has that you can take 200 uh, 2000 4000 any size you can take you can just really work on uh, some examples to have some more uh, easy under uh, easy way to to get some enough practice on the examples